welcome back to my channel it's your girl homozo ramano for those of you who don't know me if you're new here hi welcome i hope you do click that subscribe button to become a part of this family and if you're returning thank you so much for your continuous support as you might tell by the title of this video i will be doing a bar cart styling video so basically i'll be styling my bar cards for you guys to see to sort of like gain some inspiration on how to style your own bar cart if you do not have a bar cart you can simply use a console table a small table that you have around your house that you don't use or basically anything that will sort of like give you shelf space to sort of um, style your bar cards or your bar area the first thing I'm gonna do is start off by showing you what my bar cart looks like and where I got it and then we're gonna get into the styling part of this video so without further ado let us get right into it First things first, this is my bar cart trolley, whatever you'd like to call it. And this is what it looks like. It is mirrored on the top and on the bottom shelf. Hence, you can see the bottom of the top shelf from down there. It has got some wheels at the bottom. So you can basically move it around to wherever your guests are sitting at the time so that they can serve themselves. It's got a rounded shape in the front and at the back. Over here, we've got a handle that you will use to push your bar cart trolley to wherever your guests maybe or wherever you want it to go yeah that's basically my bar cart and this is the bar cart that we're going to be styling i got it from at home for about 2400 rands i'm not sure how much it is right now but you can also find it on superb list and there are many shops right now that are selling bar cart trolleys in different shapes sizes and designs so do check them out on instagram i'll try to link a few of them so yeah let's get into the styling of this bar cart and what is actually going to go on it. So first things first, I am going to start with my glass wear. Over here, I've got small glasses that are shaped in a... It's an interesting shape, which is what drew me to this. And it sort of has a place where you can stick your thumb into for a perfect grip. I'm not too sure if they're cognac or whiskey, but whatever they are, I'm not too good at naming glasses and all of that, but I will learn. And then I've got these glasses. They've got that shape over there, a slanted shape. I've got two of those. And then I've got my champagne glasses or rather champagne flutes. Um, they also have an interesting shape as you might tell already I do like irregular shaped glasses they sort of like add that thing to any space and they make drinks look very pretty over here I've got wine glasses also they've got their own shape that I really like and I love that they are so huge and big these make your wine look very good and they make you want to drink wine so yeah those are all my glasses that I'm going to use. Another item that is part of glass wear is actually this decanter. It is a wine decanter which I got from Checkers for like 150 rands. These glasses here, before I forget to let you know, these I got from Checkers. They come in a pack of four and they are about 130. These ones I don't remember where I got. But these ones are about um, 80 rands or 60 rands if I'm not mistaken from Mr. Price Home as well as the wine glasses. Over here I've got my drinks. I've got champagne, two champagne bottles. I've got gin, actually two gin bottles. I've got your Hendrix and here I've got your Inverash. I don't know if you can see it. This is a South African gin. So yeah, it really tastes good. You guys should try it out. Over here, I've got my Hennessy. It is decanted into this decanter or whatever it is called. Um, yeah, and this, I don't remember where we got it, but I don't really like it. I will change it simply because it's got prints there that I don't really like. I also have a silver tray to sort of break the gold because I will be using a lot of gold. This side, I've got all my decoration and accessories that I'm going to need. Here, I've got three of these candle holders that I got from Checkers. They came in a set of three and they are not the same height, but you will see how I'm going to use these. I do not have candles in there, but that is part of what I'm going to use to decorate my bar cart. Over here, I've got this little glass um, holder. I think it's a vase. I'm not too sure, but I thought I'm going to use it to store my lemons and limes which is exactly what I did over here. I've got some lemons and limes to add color. 
over here i've got my accessories for preparing your drinks i've got your tongs i've got your todd um measuring thingy i'm not too sure what it's called over here i've got an opener here i'm not too sure what that is but if you guys know you can just let me know down below and then behind that i've got a shaker i also have an ice bucket all these three accessories I got from Mr. Price Home. They cost me quite a lot of money. I think it was 1,500 Rand for three of them or even more, I don't remember. So yeah. And behind there, I've got some roses. I put them in a vase that I don't really use. So I thought it would be nice to put it on my bar cart trolley to add some color. So basically that's all that I will be using. I will browse through everything just for you guys to see a final glimpse before they actually go onto the bar cart. So we've got glassware, we've got drinks, we've got a tray and a decanter, we've got some decoration on this side and some accessories. Now we're going to get into styling the bar cart. The very first thing that I want to do is use this silver tray that I just showed you guys to sort of like put everything together and make it a bit more organized. Over here I'm going to add my cognac and two cognac glasses to sort of tie this little area together. So I'm going to do that right now. And now for the second step, you just want to add your accessories. You can do it in any order, but this is how I am going to do it. So it's really up to you as long as you've got the idea in the end and you've got a bar cart that looks stunning. I'm going to start off with this ice bucket that I got from Mr. Price. So this one was 699 Rand. Quite pricey for the quality, but it's okay. It looks good. It looks nice. So this is what I'm going to put next on my bar cart. The next thing I'm going to add to my cart is this shaker bottle. I also got it from Mr. Price Home and this one was 329 Rand 99 cents. This I also got from Mr. Price Home. So let's add this to our cart. The next item that I'm gonna add to my cart is this accessory um, holder. I don't know what it is called, but this is what I'm gonna add now to my cart. And this was 999 Rand and 99 cents. So already we've gone over the 2000 Rand mark. So now that we've got that area over there, it looks a bit dead. It doesn't look alive at all. So now I'm just gonna add my roses to make that area come alive because right now, as you can see, it's a bit boring and yeah, it really doesn't look alive. So I'm gonna add that right now. So I'm basically done with that area. So now we're gonna tackle the bottom part of the bar. I decided to put all my accessories on the top as well as cognac. That's why I did put it on the top. And we've got an ice bucket, the shaker and the accessories like your tongs and your openers and all of that. You guys did see that. And then everything else that is not regularly used is going to go to the bottom. But then again, we don't want the bottom to be very plain. Hence, I added the accessories, the three candle holders as well as the lemons. done with the top part and the bottom part which I did with you guys so as you can see on the top I've got my accessories I've got my tray with my two glasses and my cognac I've got my ice bucket and I also have my shaker and we just made that whole area come alive with some roses colorful roses at that moving on to the bottom on my far right I think it's your left I'm not too sure I've got my three candle holders I've got my lemons and on the left hand side I've got my two wine glasses I've got my champagne in my gin and in the center I've got my wine decanter my two champagne flutes and more cognac glasses and that's basically how I styled my bar cards I hope you guys really do like it and you will get some inspiration to create your own bar cards and do not be limited to actually decorating it like 
like this you need to be creative you need to add color at the accessories at the drinks and lots of glosses and your bar cart will come alive so my loves that is basically how i styled my bar cart thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy this video kindly give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching once again i'll see you again in another one bye